Big news this week surrounding the eight-time PGA Tour winner as Joe LaCava will be on his bag for the foreseeable future, beginning with this week's Wells Fargo Championship. All of Cantlay's career wins on the PGA Tour came with his previous caddy, Matt Minister, on the bag. With more on this news, let's welcome in Todd Lewis from Quail Hollow. Todd, what more can you tell us? Well, this is not the first time that Patrick Cantlay and Joe LaCava have worked together. You go back to the 2021 Northern Trust. Joe filled in for that event. It was just a one-off, but now he has a full-time gig as Patrick Cantlay's caddy. Now, Patrick decided to part ways with Matt Minister, affectionately known as Be uh, Rev out here on the PGA Tour, after the Zurich Classic. So Patrick needed a caddy. And he was eyeing Joe LaCava, who is not working a lot, obviously, with Tiger uh, right now due to his injuries and his recent surgery. So they had a conversation, and then Joe LaCava had to have a conversation with Tiger, and Tiger gave his blessing, blessing for LaCava to go work with Patrick Cantley. Now, Patrick Cantley was in the media center today, and he was asked about it from his perspective, what the process was like. Yeah, I mean, I've been friends with Fred Couples a long time. Uh, he's been in Newport Beach for... Um, a number of years now and we've played a lot of golf together so I've heard a number of great things about Joe and um, you know I when I reached out to to Joe he said it was it was possible and it ended up working out and I'm, I'm really happy about it did you speak to Tiger at all about it or I, I haven't spoken to Tiger and then what was the decision process like with with Rev why did that I mean, you guys had obviously a ton of success together it's just a, needing a, a new voice yeah we uh, we accomplished a lot together and I'm really proud of all we accomplished uh, he's a great friend of mine and um, we had a lot of good, uh, good finishes together and, and a lot of wins. Um, and so I'm incredibly grateful to him. Just uh, needed a change. Uh, I know you've worked with Joe before, but um, in the small sample size that you have working with him, what do you already see that he can contribute to your game? Yeah, he's just a steady hand uh, on the steering wheel. And, um, you know, I know he's been in every moment a caddy could be in. And, um, you know, he's just, he's just a good guy. And so, uh, you know, I've enjoyed the limited time that I've spent with him and uh, feel confident that we'll be a good team out there. Now, I walked with Joe LaCava and Patrick Cantlay today during the Pro-Am, and I spoke with Joe about making the adjustment from Tiger Woods, who he's been with for nearly 12 years to Patrick Cantley. He said the adjustments have been you know, pretty minimal. He says that he's got a pretty good grasp of the way Patrick plays, but he's still learning a lot more about Cantley's game. And he's learning more about Patrick Cantley as the person too. They went to dinner last night together, trying to form that chemistry, much like what he and Tiger had. Now, LaCava also told me that Tiger Woods is a friend to him, like a brother to him, and he could not have been better in regards to this situation. He said that Tiger wants the best for me, and that's why he endorsed his move to Patrick Cantley. And I also talked to Mark Steinberg in regards to Tiger Woods and his eventual hopeful comeback to playing on the world stage. He says, still right now, no timetable. Of course, he had that ankle fusion surgery recently. He said, we're waiting for that surgery to take. We're resting and going through rehab, and then we'll make a decision as to when he'll come back after that. Guys? Todd Lewis with all the news on this Wednesday from Quail Hollow, Charlotte, North Carolina. So, Amy, let's take a look at this Tiger Woods, Joe LaCava relationship over about a dozen years. They won 12 events together, the 2019 Masters, obviously the high point, but also the Players' Championship in 2013. Amy, and Jim Bones Mackay back in 09 told Golf World that Joe LaCava is the best caddy on the PGA Tour that is high praise. So who is Patrick Cantley getting on his bag? He's getting the best possible option out there. And it's not as though he didn't have a good caddy. Matt Minister was widely respected on the PGA Tour as a great caddy, but these relationships tend to run their course. And mm. sometimes they resurrect themselves, sometimes they don't. We've seen it with several players over the last couple of years. Shane Lowry most recently parted ways with Bo Martin, his caddy. But any player is going to be lucky to have Joe LaCava. I mean, Cantley basically summed him up perfectly there when he said that he's a steady hand on the wheel, which is really mm. what you're looking for. You're not looking for an emotional guy standing next to you in tense situations. And Joe LaCava has proven that, not just being with Tiger Woods, because a circus doesn't get any bigger than the one that follows Tiger around the golf course. But he's got experience with very different personalities. Dustin Johnson, Tiger Woods, Fred Couples, they're all very different 
personalities out there and Cantley is his own personality as well. I just hope Joe has an electric cattle prod once in a while that he can move <laughs> Cantley along a little bit. But in fairness, the reality is caddying for Tiger isn't a full-time job anymore. Yeah, no doubt. And Joe LaClava on the back for Fred Couples in 92 when he won the Masters and he was the rock star on the PGA Tour. But what do you think this says about Tiger's future schedule? Though? You know, listen... Uh, Outside of the injury, yeah. in terms of it being a well, job. Well, I'm no doctor. I was on the, the, the uh, Johns Hopkins website earlier, the ankle fusion that he had, that Tiger had, typically around three months. You're not supposed to put any weight on the foot at all. Now, we know that Tiger doesn't always follow doctor's advice, hashtag 2008 U.S. Open, but it, it tells me that to think that Tiger will come back this season for the major championship schedule is going to be a very difficult ask at this age, at this body state of life that he is in. I think the most important events for Tiger over the last couple of years have been the Masters Tournament and have been the old course, the 150th Open at St. Andrews last year. I, you know, Oak Hill, uh, L.A. North would be great. He's from Cypress, California. Hoy Lake, he won there in 2006. But to think he can somehow rehab and then put his body back together to compete with John Rahm and Scotty Scheffler. I don't see it personally. Tiger obviously often has other ideas, but it just is a reminder that we're much closer to the end than the beginning. And to say, you know, goodbye to, to Joe LaCava, give him his blessing as he goes to work for one of the best players in the world. And Patrick Cantley tells me that the Tiger is going to take some time probably to get his body as right as it can be. And assuming that LaCava and Cantley, in, in this sort of variable world of caddy player relationships, assuming they're still together when Tiger does make that comeback, what do you think, Charlie's old enough to <laughs> leave that bag around now? You, you never know. I mean, we're talk it's not going to happen anytime soon, I think. Talk to, to Ray point. Floyd uh, Jr. in a bit. He caddied for his old man at the Masters tournament. So, so you never know who might be next up uh, for Tiger Woods. But hopefully Tiger gets healthy uh, at his own pace and doesn't come back too soon, which so many athletes do across sports. Well, I don't think he's going to lack applicants for the job. Whenever <laughs> it comes.